What is up guys, Adam here with Adam's Hair Stuff. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to condition a brand new pair of boots. Let's get into it. All right guys, so before I get into exactly how I like to do things, I'm gonna show you a few of the items that you do need. So uh, first things first, uh, in this box, a cigar box, I have uh, various uh, leather preservatives and leather conditioners. Now my go-to that I usually like to use is the Obanoff's heavy duty LP stuff. This uh, is a very, very great leather conditioner, leather, leather preservative, uh, all natural, no chemicals or anything like that. And it, all it is is basically propolis beeswax. I also do like the Red Wing all natural leather conditioner. It has uh, some mink oil, I believe, and pine pitch. Really good leather conditioner as well as the Red Wing stuff. You're also going to need some type of brush like this. It can be a toothbrush or something that you can use to gather some of the material, some of the, the conditioner to apply to the sole area. So a uh, little brush like that, a uh, horsehair brush to uh, brush off your boots. Just make sure that the bristles match the color of the boots that you are using. Don't want to use an old brush that you've used on black shoes on brown boots because it can stain. Also, you're going to be needing a rag and a blow dryer. And also you're going to need a pair of boots. All right, these are the Iris Setter 882s, the 600 insulation thin slit ones. Uh, I bought these for some ice fishing trips and also my uh, when I go out hunting with my dad, just things like that. So just a, a more insulated boot for me. Um, so we're gonna be conditioning these today. So first and foremost, guys, if I am doing a boot that is dirty, of course I will clean it first and saddle soap it or whatever I need to do to really get it nice and clean or to get whatever I need off of the leather. So these brand new boots are already nice and clean. So the first step that you're going to need to do is you're going to have to remove the laces. All right guys, so now that we have the laces off, uh, the next thing that I am going to do is I'm just going to grab my horsehair brush and I'm going to brush the boots real quick just to make sure that they are as clean as possible before I apply any conditioner to them. Now, they usually come very clean from the factory, but you never know. There could be some residue or some, some dust particles or whatever that's left on them. So I'm just going to do a quick once over with this brush just to get them nice and cleaned up. All right, so now that we got these boots nice and clean and they are ready to go, next thing I like to do is I like to heat up the boot to open up the pores in the leather so that it can absorb the conditioner that I am going to apply to it. Uh, you got to remember leather is skin, just like yours, just like your hair. It has pores that open up with heat and close down when they're cold. So you can either use a blow dryer or set them out in the sun for a couple hours or an hour or however long it takes to get them nice and warmed up. Now, if you are using a blow dryer, just make sure that you are being very cautious when you are hitting and applying heat to the boot because you can damage the boot if you if you uh, get too aggressive with it or if your heat setting is too high. So what I like to do is I set it on a, uh, a low heat setting and on a high, high uh, flow. And again, when you're, when you're doing this, you just want to make sure that the heat is not too hot. If you can take it on your skin, you should be able to take it on this and make sure that you are not staying in one spot uh, too long. Make sure that you are consistently moving the blow dryer around to distribute the heat evenly throughout the boot and that will also prevent you from causing any harm. So let's heat up the boots. All right, guys, so now that we got the boot nice and heated up, it doesn't take much uh, to actually get the leather to open up. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our leather conditioner, and I recommend, again, the Obanoff's Heavy Duty LP, all natural stuff. So I just like to grab it with my fingers, and also the heat from your fingers and your body will also help in opening up the pores on the leather. Now keep in mind, when you're adding a conditioner to a boot, if it is a lighter colored leather, it is going to darken. These will slightly darken. And uh, what that is, is basically just the boot absorbing the conditioner and giving it that extra barrier of protection. 
So if you are looking to preserve the color of your boots, I would recommend a different product for, for your boots. I do believe Red Wing makes a leather conditioner or oil that is pretty light and it does not really stain as bad as Obanoff's or other um, mink oil based products or things that have beeswax, products that have beeswax like this. Okay, so I'm just grabbing the product and I am working it into the leather all the way around. We just want to make sure we get a nice thick coat everywhere. And we want to make sure that we're really working the welts and all these little eyelet areas and pay uh, particular attention to places where there is flex in the boot, like around the toe cap and this area. This Obanoff stuff is very light when you do get it emulsified it literally just melts as soon as it touches any kind of heat from your body and it makes it very easy to apply and again i like this stuff because it is all natural leather leather preservative and leather conditioner i've been using this stuff for nearly 10 years on all of my boots all of my red wings and my boots have always looked good they have lasted through a lot of hard weather because I do go up to the mountains quite a lot and I have done a lot of activities in my boots so they have been uh, tested out numerous of times and that is a uh, that says a lot about the company Red Wing boots which Irish setters are made by Red Wing um, really great boots red wing boots and also it uh, is a testament to this product as well because this open off stuff really helps with keeping the leather moisturized and protected and waterproofed so we are just going to work this all in guys to every specific area on the boot now that we got all of the upper of the boot covered in our conditioner what I would like to do next, or what I usually do, is I grab my little brush like this, could be a toothbrush or anything, and I like to coat the bristles in my product. And then I like to go around the stitching and the sole area of the boot, just because I cannot get the product in there with my fingers alone, the bristles allow me to actually really penetrate into the stitching and the sole area. So I'm going to just, Grab my brush, use the tips of it, and work it all the way into the sole and the welt and stitching. And I'm going to do this around the whole boot. Also, all these little crevices and again the welts and everything like that, it's kind of hard to get the product in there, so I like to use my brush to really get in between and make sure that the whole boot is covered. All the stitching, all the little areas, I just wanna make sure they are fully covered. Especially around places like this, guys, where the, you know, the there's two separate pieces of leather that have been stitched together. You just wanna really make sure that you are working the product into those areas with this brush, because that will aid in the protection of waterproof and also preserve all the stitching, make it last longer. Just really work the product in. So now we got the whole boot covered and nice and conditioned. And as you guys can see the difference in when you apply the conditioner to the leather, this one is untreated. This one is the one I just treated and you can see how much darker it has made the boot really shiny and that will dissipate as the leather absorbs all of the product. So that is the one that is with conditioner. This is the one without. So it does change the color of the boot. Keep that in mind. But let's get going and finishing this other boot. All right guys, so now we got both of the boots conditioned here. Grab my rag, clean off my hands for, for a second. 
Uh, now, the next step is going to be to just let them sit and absorb the the conditioner for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now you can hit it with a blow dryer again to really uh, make this process a little bit faster uh, just to open up the pores again. Now what I like to do again is let them sit for about 20, 15 minutes and then you can either choose to leave them like this, uh, leave them overnight um, uh, if you're not trying to apply a second coat. So I'm going to apply a second coat so that's why I like to let them sit for about 20 to 15 minutes to absorb the product and then add another coat. Now that, you don't have to do that if you are not trying to apply another coat. Uh, you can just uh, let them sit, let them sit for you know overnight or whatever to really fully absorb the product. So now since I'm gonna be applying a second coat, now the reason I like to do it is just to make sure that the leather is very, very well protected and nourished and conditioned. Because again, leather is like your skin guys. If you guys let it get dry, uh, what happens to your skin? It cracks and it bleeds. Same thing happens to your boots if you do not take care of them. They will crack and it will cause damage. So to prevent that from happening is to apply a good amount of conditioner and to make sure that they are nice and well nourished. Now, I use the open offs on my first coat. My second coat, I'm going to apply some of the Red Wing All Natural Leather Conditioner because this does have some mink oil and it will darken the leather a little bit, give a little bit more protection. And there's also pine pitch in this. Now you can mix, mix products like this as long as they are natural and beeswax, both beeswax based. So I'm gonna have no issues with mixing this stuff up. This is gonna be a little bit more thick uh, consistency. And I love the smell of the uh, pine pitch and mink oil in this. So I'm gonna let these sit and we're gonna apply another coat of the Red Wing leather conditioner to the boots. All right guys, so we've let these guys sit for a little bit. Now I'm going to apply my Red Wing all natural leather conditioner. Again, all natural stuff. So I just grab it with my fingers and it uh, emulsifies and melts down very easily when you uh, apply body heat to it. So now we are just gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the Obanoffs and applying it all over the boot nice and thoroughly. And make sure at the end you grab your brush and you really hit the stitching and the sole and also all these little welts and joints and little places where two leather, two pieces of leather have been stitched together. So we're gonna get, get going on that now. All right, so now that we got both of the boots fully coated with a second coat, and on that second coat, I did use the All Natural Leather Conditioner by Red Wing. And on the first coat, I did use the Obanoffs Heavy Duty LP. Now the next step you can, again optional, is to use a blow dryer to heat up the leather to really open up the pores and get it to uh, absorb all of the product and all of the nutrients from it. Uh, that to me is optional, you can do that. Um, I do it sometimes, but for these pair of boots, since they are brand new and they do not need a lot of moisture to them, uh, just more protectant and everything, I'm gonna let these guys sit for about 24 hours to fully absorb everything from the products. Uh, and what we will do then is uh, we will show you what they look like and then also show you the next step. Also, don't forget to condition any of the little pieces of leather that might come with the boot like this. These Irish Shedders comes with this little little sleeve of leather that goes in between the, the laces here. Uh, so I, I made sure I coated that also with both of the conditioners because you want to take care of all the leather on the boot. Now benefit to doing a leather condition guys also is if you're using natural products like the Obanoffs and the, the Red Wing is you will notice that your hands are extremely soft after you do this because it's the same thing. It really helps out with uh, dry skin and stuff, especially the Obanoffs. You can use this shit on anything, man. If you have dry skin, Obanoffs is great to just put a little bit on. You can use it as lip balm, whatever. This is an all natural product and it's very, very good. So I would highly recommend the open off stuff. The next day, let the boots sit for about, you know, 12 to 24 hours, just to let them really fully absorb all of the conditioner that we've applied to the boot, the open offs and the Red Wing uh, natural boot conditioner. And as you can see, it has really absorbed all of the, the conditioner that we put on it. So uh, that's a very, very good thing. Um, that means that we are going to have a lot of protection and it's going to really help with making this leather nice and supple and soft. So the next step to do is to grab your bore brush guys and to just brush off the boot one more time just in case if there is a little bit of residue left, some stickiness, excess, this will uh, brush it off and make the boot a very nice finish. 
So this is going to be the next step is just to brush the whole entire boot. All right guys, so we just brushed off one of the boots right here to really make sure that it is nice and clean and that we brushed off the, the excess that was left on the, on the boot, some residue, which might occur. Now this is the one that I just brushed off. Still has a nice sheen to it and everything, but not as as shiny as the other one. So that's the one that we brushed off. This is the one that we still need to brush off. So you can see it's a little bit more shiny, has a little bit of residue on it. So we will now brush this one off. All right, so now we have the boots nice and brushed off. Last step would be is to add your laces, guys, which everyone knows how to do. And there we have it, guys. This is the finished product here. After you get the laces on and everything, now your boots are ready to tackle anything that you put them through, all the elements and whatnot, if you do this right. And also, if you do invest in a nice, high-quality pair of boots, which are not cheap, not going to lie, but if you invest in a nice-quality pair of boots, they will last you for years and years and years, especially if you maintain them. It's all about maintenance, guys. Now, I would recommend doing this process uh, to boots at least every three months guys and if you are wearing them every day in a very harsh environment you need to be doing this at least once a month because you do need to protect and nourish the skin or the leather that is on these boots so that it prevents them from cracking and breaking now you will eventually have to probably replace soles and stuff that those are going to wear over time but the leather and the uppers are your job to maintain now, of course, with normal wear and tear, guys, your boots are going to get dirty, mud, uh, abrasions, and things like that, which I will go over in a different video on how I like to really clean my boots and uh, get off all the residue or whatever is on them. Usually, I will use a pumpkin or a saddle soap to really get those nice and cleaned up. Uh, but I will go over that in a different video to show you exactly what I like to do with that process. But this video, this is how I like to condition a brand new pair of boots. And I, again, cannot stress the Obunoff's Heavy Duty LP stuff. Great, great product for, for really protecting and conditioning your boots along with the all natural leather conditioner by Red Wing. I have been using this combo for a very long time and it has always served me well with every pair of boots that I have. And I have a, quite a few pairs of boots, uh, a couple pairs of uh, 875s by Red Wing, some Iron Rangers, these, and some other various boots. But uh, the combo of the Obanoffs and the all natural leather conditioner by Red Wing is a very good combo for protecting and nourishing your boots. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and that you guys have learned or took something away from it. Now. This is just my process on how I like to condition a brand new pair of boots and everything that you do with leather and boots, it's all about maintenance and taking care of them. So make sure that you are taking care of your things that you are investing into. That way they last you as long as possible. And with a brand new pair of boots like these Irish setters, they are going to last me probably the rest of my life if I maintain them correctly. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you have not yet, please check out my other videos and my channel. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you're not missing out on any content that I am posting. I do a lot of men's grooming videos, videos like this, barbering tutorials, things of that sort. So be sure to check it all out, man. But right on guys, I hope you have a blessed day and I wish you guys the best in anything that you are trying to obtain in life. This is Adam with Adam's Hair Stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.